For practice it, self check 5.9 do while seashore, where has to write a do while loop that repeatedly prints a certain message until the user tells the program to stop. So we need a scanner, obviously, because we're getting user input. We'll have scanner, we'll call it input, and set it equal to new scanner with system.in as its parameter. And then we're going to need our do while loop. And it starts with a do. We have spaces with brackets like these. And then outside of our last bracket, we'll have while. And then we'll have our um, statement in here. So we're running this as long as our answer is y and not n. So what we can do here is make a string and call it answer and then initialize it to be y. And then we can run this as long as answer dot equals y. I think that has to be a string in here also. And this will run as long as our answer is y. So if anything else is inputted, it will break. So all we have to do in here now is make a system.out.print statement. It needs to be print because this is on the same line as this, and we're just going to write the output on the same line. So the first line of output is this. We will copy this and paste it in here. Then we will do a slash n for a new line. And then we will copy this part and paste it in here and submit, making sure we spell everything correctly. We can see that I definitely forgot to um, put a scanner that catches the user input. So below this we'll have answer is equal to input dot next line. It could be next or next line. It doesn't really matter. We're just getting the user input here. So we can see that we have we have an infinite loop because we have nothing to break it. So if we resubmit this, getting the answer on the next line, we can um, break out of our loop once we are given an n, and we can see that we've passed all of the tests. So this is the code that will give us the desired output for this problem.